All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm finally getting to that topic that I said I was going to talk about a few weeks ago, where I want to talk about lead generation through your existing clients, okay? Making money through your existing clients, getting new business, get, selling new products, new services, whatever, through your existing clients. So many of my mentors have taught me that it is much easier to sell, sell to and grow your business through your existing customers. And I agree completely. I mean, that's, if you heard my episode a few weeks ago about how I grew my business, that's basically how I grew my business. So I, I agree completely. It's easier to sell to your existing clients and it's easier to grow your business through your existing clients. And, and look, like, just look at how much emphasis is placed on customer experience these days and customer loyalty and rewarding your customers who are with you. Think about those businesses that you frequent and you'll see it because they treat you well and in turn, you spend lots of money with them, right? I've seen this happen in my own business, of course. Like at least 75% of my clients currently are a result of referrals from other clients or former, former clients. However, in business, it's common to want to chase after new clients all the time and to neglect the existing clients. So I want to think about them today. I want to think about existing clients, how you can grow your business through existing clients. And I want to give you two main strategies. The first strategy is going to be referrals, getting referrals from existing clients, how to do that. And then also thinking about serving your existing clients. What are new services? What are new products that offer value to your existing clients that you could create, that they would purchase, that they would sign up for? Okay, first, let's talk about referrals. Referrals are how businesses have run and grown since the beginning of time. Friend tells friend about this business and that business grows. Uh, friend tells friend about this product, that person buys that product. So you have to have a program to encourage referrals. And the way to do that is to give rewards for your referrals. It can be money, it can be prizes, it can be attention anything. You have to have a program, though, that rewards referrals. Um, we have a program where our existing clients, if they refer a client and then they stay with us for three months, that existing client gets a free month of service. And when you're talking about a production podcast production package that's $600 a month, $1,200 a month, $2,400 a month, that's a significant prize <laughs> for, for sending a referral. So we do that. And when you have a referral program, you have to mention it. You have to mention it regularly um, in regular communication, okay? When I have strategy calls with clients, I remind them about it. I remind them that, hey, we love working with you. Uh, if you know anybody that is similar to you that has a podcast that wants to start a podcast, here's the referral bonus. We would love to help them. You can go through snail mail, okay? Send handwritten thank you notes to your clients and tell them what you like working um, about, what you like about working with them, okay? What you love about it. Because that will remind them that, oh yeah, uh, this is someone who I like working with too. And oh, my friend mentioned the other day that they have a podcast and maybe I should introduce them to Danny, that type of thing. So do that. When they have milestones, do the same thing. Um, we have started to send notes to and, and congratulations to podcasters as they re reach 50 episodes and 100 episodes and 200 episodes. And we've had some that have passed 300 episodes. Um, so you got to do that. You got to encourage them. And that regular communication where you may or may not mention the referrals reminds your clients that you do have referral programs. Now, there are other ways to get your clients to maybe even refer people without even knowing it, okay? Think about your social media. You could have a contest, a giveaway, something like that, where the way they enter the giveaway is to share your posts or share the post about the giveaways, comment something about why they love working with you, something like that. And what that does is it allows you to reach their social media networks and their followings and for those followings to see that, oh, they work with Emerald City Productions or something like that. You can also do things like um, have a customer of the month uh, where you honor a customer, a client each month. You do a post about them. Maybe you interview them. If you have a podcast, you could interview them on your podcast <clears throat> and you feature them. And what will happen is when you give this customer that award, 
they will likely share it with their people and say, hey, I'm so honored I was I was chosen as customer, customer of the month or client of the month for Emerald City Productions and they did this nice thing. Um, that's one way to get more eyes. You can, you can do like wall of fame or hall of fame, uh, sort of a variation of that too, where you add people to your, maybe we could add our clients to a wall of fame as they reach a hundred episodes as, you know, proof that they are a podcaster that stuck with it and has created an audience and things like that. So think about ways that you could mention your referral program in regular communication. So now let's talk about that second way that I mentioned for growing your business through existing clients, existing customers. And that would be to create new services or new ways to help them. Okay. You think of your existing clients and essentially you're going to find ways to offer them more. Uh, And that's going to be through three different ways. What could we do for them that would be uh, faster or increase speed for them in some way? Um, how could we make their lives easier or automate something for them? How could we provide better service or increase the quality of our, our service? Es- essentially, we're asking them, what are they going to pay more for? What are they going to pay more for than they already pay? And the idea with this is to not keep hunting for new clients, new leads, but you're going to serve those people you already have. Serve those people who already are with you, that care about you, that are loyal to you those leads, those customers that you already have, and, and serve them more, do more for them. So there's a exercise that my um, I credit my friend Robbie Fowler, RobbieF.com, with teaching me, and it's great size, you, uh, this exercise that you can do with your team where you think about what outcomes you're trying to create for your customers, okay? Um, and you can apply this exercise to uh, – a funnel, an offer, products, services, whatever. But the main focus is to to chase new leads less, serve current clients more, because existing clients are the easiest to serve to and sell to. So this exercise where we're going to talk about those three things, making things faster, increasing the speed, making things easier, or automating things, or making things better for the client, or increasing the quality. So with my team here at Emerald City Productions, this might look like... Uh, thinking about, okay, what what value are we providing to the client? What job do we do for them? Or what do they want us to, to do for them? And that might look like finding ways to help our clients grow their podcast, whether it's grow monetization, grow their audience, whatever. Okay. So we'd first think about what are things we could give them or charge them for to help them grow their audience faster. Okay. Uh, what could we do to help them grow their audience easier? What could we do to help them grow their audience in a more high quality fashion? And we just brainstorm, like, what are some things we could add to our services? How could we change our packages around? What are things that they've asked about that they really would make their lives easier? All this sort of stuff. And we brainstorm that out and we figure out out what could we do. And then that will give us ideas for new services, new products that we could offer for sale to our current clients. And the, the ideas that you come up with can actually become those products or services. They can be upsells as well. They could be add-ons to existing products. Okay. So that's an approach that I like to take when trying to generate more money, leads, whatever, from existing clients. You've either got your referrals from your existing clients to grow your business, or you've got adding things or providing more services, new services to your existing clients and helping them more. So I hope this helped you think about, okay, how can I grow my business by looking inward versus looking outward and always chasing those new clients and spending more and more money on marketing and more and more money on advertising? How could I serve my existing clients? How could I use my podcast to serve my existing clients more and and help them grow? So if you ever have a question for me, you can email me at danny at emeraldcitypro.com or leave me a voice message at speakpipe.com slash podcast strategies. I would love to answer your questions on the show. So feel free to send those in and and by all means, tell more people, refer me, refer this podcast to friends that you know or family or colleagues who you think are interested in starting a podcast or have a podcast already and want some help. Thank you again for joining me today and I will see you next time.